Hi guys, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, I will show you how you can create the multiple lines chart. So for example, multiple lines within one chart. So if you remember from my previous video, I have shown you how you can create a line chart like this and then save it uh, in a file name, which is uh, average goals FIFA. So now I want to extend this and uh, I want to analyze both the home goals and away goals. So the goals done by the home team and goals which are done by the um, away teams. So how we can do that? Well, first of all, we need to prepare the data. So we need to use something which is again uh, FIFA underscore HG dot pivot table. So all of this information is already loaded for me, which is uh, first of all the libraries plotly dot offline as PYO the graph object plotly dot graph underscore object as go and pandas library i have already loaded this file which i showed it in the previous video um, this is a snapshot of uh, the from the data set first five observation um, over here uh, we created a data set like this where we had just the year and the average goals for each year now what we want is we want home goals as well as away goals so that we can create two lines within one chart because mostly that's how the you know things happen that uh, uh, there are multiple variables on which you need to do the analysis so how we can do that well we need to come over here because this is where uh, we need to impact our uh, you know uh, impact our uh, formula or the syntax so I will uh, open up this and uh, basically create a list. So home goals and I will specify the away, A-W-A-Y, away goals. Okay, think, well, this is all you need, right? To create a data set. So very, very simple. Initially, it may sound a bit daunting about what to do and where to do. But uh, once you know how this thing happens, it becomes really easy. So if I go ahead and execute this and show you again, well, now I have year, away go, and home go, both the information. Now let's go ahead and create a chart. Now I cannot go ahead and simply use data over here because there are two different variables. So what I need to create is basically two different traces uh, to provide it to the data, all right? What I'll do is I will create a couple of lines over here. Maybe in one line it will be fine. So first thing is specifying the first trace, trace zero, and specifying the information for the first variable, and then for the second variable. So the function we will use is again the go dot scatter because that's where it will going to create the using the mode lines. Uh, as you can see, uh, we are not using the bracket because this is what you'll use in the uh, data and uh, you will see in a moment why this bracket is really required which is basically uh, creating nothing but the list so go dot scatter and uh, first of all specify x x is nothing but our year so we will say fifa underscore hg dot index and then y is fifa underscore hg dot away goals right mode is equals to lines and let's give it a name which is uh, away goals right uh, i will just copy this and paste it here i will say trace one so this is trace zero that means the line first line this is the second line um, i will change away goals to something which is home goals and change this to home goals and I'm good. All right. I will just delete this by pressing D two times. Now that is deleted, uh, I will remove this. And now we have only two brackets. So what I'm gonna do is I will just specify the, um, the information about uh, Trace zero, trace one. Okay. Average home goals and away goals by year. We are good. 
I don't want to save this this time, so I'll remove that. And I'll execute this. Interestingly, it has created a bar chart for us. So let me see what has gone wrong. So if I evaluate this, uh, it says board scatter, x axis is fine, y axis is fine, mode, lines, name. Oh yeah, so one thing I noticed, I have not reduced a comma over here uh, and a comma over here. I did it should have given me the error, but it has produced a bar chart. So let me go ahead and execute it again. Well, this is something new for me as well. Execute, execute this, execute this, and execute this. Yeah. So that was weird. I don't know why it happened, to be honest, because uh, this this was uh, even I was seeing it very first time. So yeah, I also learned something new here. So it's so it's it's you can see that uh, now we have the two lines. Uh, similarly, you can have multiple lines, and you have a legend over here, which which you have the option to select. Uh, if you select the away goals, uh, or unselect this because that was anyway selected, so only home is there. If you click it over here again, both the lines will come. So that's quite uh, interesting, and uh, the way interactivity that it provides, it's, it's quite nice chart. So that's pretty much it I have for you in this video and I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic.